Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love reading in this June Sations Energy Scorpios. I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing, Scorpio. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, Scorpio. So we're going to start off this love reading, Scorpio, because you know it's all about the love over here. And whatever else the universe wants us to know, I will speak on it. So we're going to start off with the Moonology cards. I was led to this deck, Scorpio. And, excuse me, um, your overall energy is prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus here. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. And I feel like because the top, the bottom of your deck, ooh, see? <sighs> ooh, Scorpio, y'all just... Okay, so you got the Empress here. But underneath the Empress, Scorpio, you got... The Emperor. Look at that. See, you can't get away from your person, Scorpio. You're in the Nine of Cups. <laughs> See, this the energy you're in right now, Scorpio. You're in that Empress energy. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus here, Scorpio. Ooh. And based on this deck, it says clean slate. Potential dreams here. So I feel like things that you have been manifesting are finally, they're up ahead. I feel like some of you guys are... Uh, this is the new moon in Taurus here. You know, that's the earthly things here. Uh, th this is going after what you want. Uh, starting fresh here, wiping a slate clean, starting or having a new refreshing beginning here in abundance. So some of you guys may have ended something. You may have just completed a cycle within a relationship, a job, family, whatever. But you have prosperity lies ahead. And I can see that in this Empress energy, Scorpio. Ooh, you got and you got the Emperor tailing right on behind you, Scorpio. Ooh. It's like these divine masculines and feminines are, are trying to get back together, is all I can say, because they keep showing up here. Ooh, all right, Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? For Scorpio's highest good, Spirit, show me. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. So you got a disseminating moon here, Scorpio. It says, re, uh, relax, accept, regroup. See? I feel like for some of you Scorpios, for some Scorpios, you're in your, your resting, rejuvenation, healing season. While other Scorpios have completed healing cycles or completed cycles that made them have to heal. And now they're on their journey now. Because a lot of times it takes you to go through a situation that really challenges you emotionally in order for you to get off your ass and go get something for yourself. And as hard as it may sound, and I don't mean to be, you know, trigger or sound haughty or anything, but you know how Scorpio be loving? You know, you're a fixed sign, Scorpio. You know, it's not just Scorpio. It's Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. Those are fixed signs. It's like once you set your eye on something, can't you, it's, it, they, 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 everybody might as well move out the way. But I feel like some Scorpios are taking time out to reflect, to reju rejuvenate, relax, regroup, get it back together here uh, in order for you to move forward towards something better and stable. It says expect powerful change, new moon eclipse here. See, expect pro positive change, Scorpio, and it's because you're in this empress energy. You've had a lot of growth and abundance in your life. And whether you know it or not, you're already abundant, whether you see it or not. It's like, this is the energy you're in here. It says new moon eclipse here. So, hold on, new moon eclipse. Is this on here? No. Can I see eclipse? Okay, so this once again is clean slate, uh, potential dreams here. So, it's like, it's a pattern. It's a, I see what it is. It's like, and see, the spirit wants you to know again, Scorpio, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer here. See, you got a lot of new moon energy in here. New moon, new moon, new moon, and disseminating moon here, Scorpio. So it's like you really had to do some spring cleaning here. You, I see conclusions are within reach, but spirit wants you to know, Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you Scorpios may be... Uh, uh, introspecting you may be taking time to your step you may be kind of like in hermit mode staying to yourself while you figure things out here and that's cool because only thing that's showing is that once you come back look if you don't know anything about the scorpio you need to know this cross watcher now whatever may have happened between you and scorpio where you may have done scorpio wrong 
Uh, Scorpio may, you know, may put up a fight at first, but you should really, really worry when, when you no longer hear anything else from Scorpio. I'm just saying because when and if you ever see Scorpio or hear from Scorpio again, it's going they're gonna be the level up so that you, they're gonna be out of your reach. And this is what I feel like is happening here. You're leveling up because you're doing what you need to do to get there, Scorpio. And you know the Empress had to work for it. She had to work for that. She had to she had to go through the emotions of the Queen of Cups, the haughtiness or the uh, or the confidence of the Queen of Wands, uh, the, the very uh, logical and intellectual, ain't taking ain't playing no games in the Queen of Swords energy, and to love yourself first and and, and to pursue your stability in the Queen of Pentacles. You had to go through all of those different aspects, Scorpio, in order to be the empress. So you're growing. So don't think that just because you may be in hiding or stand to yourself to regroup, to heal, to uh, re re purge your energy, release negative energy, that it's the end. No, that's when your beginning is about to happen. And not only that, sometimes when you feel like you're all alone and you, you're feeling, and I'm happy this card came out because like I said in my other reading, it gets so, well, I think I said it on my other channel, but it gets so toxic in the air when you go out, you be hearing so many negative things. And I see the universe is telling me to guard your energy of what you take in, but you're hearing all these disastrous things going on in the world. And then when you go out there, you still thinking about that. And you, you know, that's not a way to live. You know, I, I start having, I start being kind of iffy when I go pump gas. I'm like, shit, I hope don't know about, you know, it just. You know, your mind wanders because you know that, that there's other things going on spiritually where everybody else around you just going on with their life. They're not affected because they're not looking at things through a spiritual perspective because people are not on that level. The majority, the majority of people's brains are fried out from all these electronics here. I'm just saying. And they just entities walking around here just, you know, just being here serving as props, you know. But spirit wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. Whatever your purpose was to come here, you're going to see it through. Nothing's going to take you out. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Nothing shall rise up against you and mishandle your name because you are already justified. You're already written. You're already known. It's just that the, the people down here, the, everybody that forgot who everybody is. People have forgotten who themselves are. So it's, it seems like a lot of people, they be, you know, they be mistreating you. But they don't understand that that they're mistreating a very high level uh, uh, angel. I feel like because I feel like most people are earth angels coming down here to spread the word, to uh, bring in the gap, to to unite us together collectively on a spiritual level. And some people is gonna get it, and some people are not. And maybe it's not time for everyone. But he that has the ear, you know if this resonates with you. It's saying that if you've had to shut down, if things have not always been good for you, it's time to purge that shit out. Take some time to breathe out, re re release all of that. Because now you have prosperity lies ahead. Expect. Now, you remember you had one reading that said you was expecting something. Here you go again. Spirit says expect powerful change. Now, spirit ain't then I already told you what to do. You, you, you don't have no choice but to look at it in a positive way because it's something about your expectation that does bring the powerful change. It could have just said powerful change, but it said expect it. So it's like you're manifesting and your expectation is the fuel that, that your change needs in order for it to come to you, not only to come to you, but to come to you in such a powerful energy. Now, powerful energy of change can do a lot of things. That's all I'm saying here. And it says you are loved here. You, are, you and your, your loved ones are safe. Can't nobody touch you. Can't nobody speak ill against you. Can't nobody send the third eye or, or the evil eye at you. Can't nobody uh, take your hair. Uh, uh, can't nobody curse you. Can't nobody do none of those things, Scorpio, because you and your loved ones are safe. So it's telling you this This is the time. We've got another Taurus energy. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus here. See, Spirit trying to help you achieve this new business for some Scorpios here. Full uh, full moon in Taurus. Now you got full moon, but you still, you still got that Taurus energy. We know Taurus is the earthly things here. Full moon in Taurus here. It says results... Forgiveness, gratitude. 
It says your dreams need a practical plan. So in other words, spirit is telling you to prepare for something. It said, yeah, you can visualize it. And, it, and spirit telling you something amazing is something powerful is coming in to change your whole life because prospect, prosperity lies ahead. But spirit is telling you, your dreams need a practical plan. What are you going to do when this prosperity comes your way? What are you going to do when this powerful change comes your way? Spirit say, have a plan. That way, everything you've always wanted and desired, you can just get your check off. Listen, just check all that shit off because after all, prosperity lies ahead. Your dreams are coming true in this energy, Scorpio. Ooh. Especially if you had to take some time out. And some of you Scorpios are to yourself. This is how you are getting this, this prosperity and all this powerful change is because you had to shut everything down and get away from folks. See, some of y'all need to work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. See, if that ain't Scorpio ass. Ooh, look at spirit talking to you. <laughs> see, see, some things are scary. You know, like, like, see, the spirit telling me too. But like I said, I was almost trying to pick up anxiety of the world for, from even pumping gas, y'all. Because I done seen so many people having horrible things. Y'all, boy. But Spirit said, uh-uh, brown eyes, you better work through your fear. Screw that. You better work through that shit because what I have coming for you, we don't need fear. Fear don't go with prosperity, baby. Oh, Scorpio, Spirit say, work through your fear, Scorpio. You you hear it and you're fixed. You got, you got fixed energy here. You got Taurus and you got Scorpio here. Oh, Scorpio. And y'all see you got cancer here. Spirit say you got to work through your fears. Don't they go Taurus again? It's time to take action. New moon in Aries here. See? But I feel like Spirit is telling you your way of taking action. If you're waiting for something to come in, your way of taking action is to have a plan of what your dreams look like. Put it on paper. Well, how do you visualize things? What are you what are you what are you trying to what are you trying to bring into fruition? What are you trying to get accomplished? Because I got what you need coming your way is what the universe is telling you. But I, I don't want you to mishandle it. I want you, the, the way you thought about it in your mind, go by what you have on your paper. That way you will get it all done. Ain't no looking back saying, I should have did. No, no, no. Write it down, baby, because it's your dream. Your dream. You're the writer. You're the author. Remember, and the finisher of what you desire by you writing it down, Scorpio. Because it's time to take action. Work through your fears, Scorpio, especially if you've taken time out. Spirit's telling you to breathe. Don't keep it in. Don't, don't act in fear like there's not an outcome for you. Don't hold it in. You breathe that shit in and you breathe that shit right on back out, Scorpio, because what the universe has coming for you, a boss, it's time to prepare and think like a boss. This is boss energy coming towards you, Scorpio. So spirit, because you got all this, this earth energy, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus here. This is boss money-making energy coming towards you, Scorpio. So spirit, just tell you, prepare yourself, child. Write down the plan. How do you want your new home to look? What do you want to call your, your, your new business? What are you looking for? Spirit telling you, write it out because it's coming. Because this is the energy that is surrounding you. So like I said, Scorpio, your overall energy right here is this empress here. Some of y'all dealing with the Libra. But you're in this empress energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make it say, ooh. See, when you're in that empress energy, Scorpio, people always want to do things for you, Scorpio. It's just something about that high-maintenance kitty that just drives them crazy. It could be that high-maintenance peanut, too. But you're in a higher perspective now. You're in a higher category now. Because you ain't chasing after nobody in no empress energy. They chasing after you. And like I said, you know they chasing after you, Scorpio, because look who chasing right behind you. You can't get away from this energy. They are they up on you. You attracting your match, Scorpio. I don't care where you go. Your match is right on your heels here. They smell you. They say, that, that's my baby. <laughs> they say, why, why, why wouldn't I be behind you? God damn, ain't that my baby? Oh, what you trying to say? That ain't my baby. Well, God dang it, I'm here then. I'm here, dad and mama. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, your overall energy is that empress here. Let me go on and lay you right there, uh, partner, since you want to be seen, along with this nine of cups energy. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, some of y'all dealing with the Aries or another water sign or a air sign here. Oh, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio 
What's up with this empress and this empress energy spirit? This has really been showing up a lot for Scorpio spirit. What do you want the collective of Scorpio to know about this emperor and this empress and this nine of cups energy spirit? Show me. Strength. Some of y'all dealing with the Leo here. So either there's some powerful energy in your is something. Maybe someone is trying to refrain from coming to you, but they can't help it. They say, damn, you everything. Look, God dang, shorty, where you been on my goddamn me life? I've been looking for a little old mama just like you, baby. Come on here. You can give me your number. You're going to give me your number. I ain't going to leave you alone then. When you want something to eat, well, I'm just trying to be nice. Little mama I ain't going nowhere. And I ain't going to let nobody else mess with you. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, well, I do like them garlic parmesan wings. <laughs> Flat, crispy. <laughs> That's how you get her the family size. That's what she want, man. Make sure you get everything she wants. <laughs> Some of y'all may be about to get back together with your child's father here too, Scorpio. I feel like someone is either trying to be courage or someone is powerful. Someone is standing in their power. Uh, or this is a very powerful connection here. Or someone is finding you irresistible and they're trying not to pounce on you. Because especially if this empress right here, somebody like, I, ooh, y'all, ooh, see, this is the same energy. Somebody ain't going to want to pull out, okay? I keep sit, seeing they pull out game week. It's, so this empress, see, that high maintenance kid to get them every time. But see, it's a match. However, this person will feel about you, Scorpio. You will feel about this person, too. I'm telling you, this, this is, ooh, this is what it see. Six of Wands, victory, success here, Scorpio. Now, this is your reading, Scorpio. So I have to think that something has the potential of really turning out very, very beautiful in this connection here. Someone could be observing you. Someone could be watching you. You someone could have you could have caught someone's eye in the Six of Wands, Nine of Cups energy. Because it could be that this Empress energy is just so abundant and so happy. You just rub off on people. You're just going to attract people, good pe people that's on your level and people who ain't got no business even looking in your direction, Scorpio, because they ain't got nothing to offer here. They pull up to you trying to holler at you and they leaking out all transmission fluid. Ad don't work. They all greasy and sweaty looking. <laughs> they angry because they hot. You know how we get when we hot. They looking mad, but they got the nerve to try to holler at you with they raggedy ass car. And look, I ain't throwing shit in no back. I done had some of the raggedy it's a cause, but I always kept my shit clean and my energy was like I was the shit. So I got all out there ragged the car like I was the shit. And they wasn't looking at the car, god dang it. They was looking at the owner. Okay, you gotta own that shit. If you start thinking you ain't shit, if you start thinking you less of them, that's the energy that's gonna come out and people gonna pick that shit up and they're gonna treat you the same way. And that's what I had to learn, Scorpio. For some of y'all, Scorpio, this is someone you may work with here, Scorpio. Or I feel like this is somebody that you work with, Scorpio. But this could be you getting a lot of victory and recognition on your job, Scorpio, because you do have the six of wands here. And it could represent that you're, that you're in your power right now, Scorpio. And it could also represent that this is a connection that's a power couple that's trying to come together, Scorpio. Working together, getting victory, success, a lot of attention. Uh, someone is happy. Someone is completely fulfilled. And some of y'all dealing with the Leo here. Did I say Leo or, or uh, uh, Aries or a Libra here? The hangman here. So it's a hangman here. So it's in the upright. So someone is looking things from a different perspective here. Someone had to step outside of the situation to view it in a different manner here, Scorpio. Now, this could be you as far as relationships. You may be looking at someone or reconsidering someone here. Because I feel like it's about love, see, to go to Knight of Cups, coming in, see, folks trying to come in. You always going to have folks try to come in to the Empress Scorpio. Look at that Knight of Swords, see? You may have a little thug with his pants hanging all down his ass and shit. Look, that go judge me, Scorpio. I feel like you got a lot of people that are attracted to you, Scorpio. Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio and whoever this energy is coming to a Scorpio and this love and romance energy spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? Let's see what Scorpio needs to know. The wheel of fortune here. So it's almost like this is this is a destiny. This could be destiny here. This could be a fated event. This could be something that's supposed to happen with somebody here, Scorpio. This could actually be something that's supposed to happen for some of y'all. It could be a Pisces here. Oof, shit. 
Ooh, pardon me, Scorpio. Now, this could be, for some of y'all, this may be someone from your past, Scorpio, with this judgment card. Did I see the judgment card? Oh, no, I saw the shuffling. Someone may be trying to come back to you, Scorpio. But it's almost, see, it's, it's almost like this is a divine masculine, divine feminine energy. But I just feel like you got two bosses here, two abundant energies that's on their shit, that's mature and settled and know what they want. Uh, and I feel like there's an opportunity for you guys to come together. But I feel like this person is watching you. Which, because you're getting a lot of uh, success. You go to food card. So you got Aries energy strong in here, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. All right, Spirit. Show me some more energy for Scorpio. What is this about, Spirit? What do we need to know? See? <laughs> I told you. Somebody is paying attention to you, Scorpio. I feel like with the Six of Wands here. See? Ace of Wands, Scorpio. This was somebody won't. I feel like somebody's watching you and they're mesmerized because it's something about you that stands out to them because it's so what they say. <laughs> she thinks she me or something. This person say you think you them or some Scorpio I always screw that song up, but it's like she thinks she me or something. I put my chain on her neck. Now she thinks she me or something. It's like now now she thinks she me or something. The way they looking at you, like, yeah, they're little, ch -ch 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 check out this little Scorpio man. Ain't, ain't, ain't that how I do my shit? It's like, ain't that how I do me? Damn, man, where she come from, man? I swear, is that me right there? But no, because she's too fucking pretty. Who is that, man? That man, she thinks she me or something. She been watching me. Somebody watching you, and they feel like you're on their level. They say you think you them or something, Scorpio, and you probably don't even. And then some of y'all may have watched this person, Scorpio. You may be the one that's watching them with a lot of attention since they're the emperor, but I feel like they're watching you, Scorpio, because this is your shit, okay? Especially with this Nine of Cups energy. Somebody, you done caught somebody's eye, Scorpio, and they like, damn, I would love a chance with this, Scorpio. That's why, that's why the Empress stay pregnant because this Ace of Wands always coming out, Scorpio. Somebody always want to knock the, somebody always want to knock the Empress up. Oh, Scorpio, somebody's want to spoil you. And it's because you're on their level, Scorpio. Like I say, you stand out above everybody else. You stand out in the crowd. It's something different and unique about you, Scorpio. It's, I tell you, it ain't hitting like none of them other little old lovers that they had. It's some little real love coming in to you, Scorpio. Could be a soulmate type of energy coming towards you, Scorpio. But like I say, this person could have anybody that they want, Scorpio. But when they see you, they say you think you them or something, Scorpio. They say you must think you them or something, Scorpio. She must think she me or something. They say you must think you them or something, Scorpio. They say they they be flipping their wrist and the stunting on them and shining. And they say, but damn, man, I didn't know it was a she me out here. But I'm sure loving it, man. I will put a baby in her. Oh, Scorpio. This person said, right, now you know what? I can have a family with this one right here. Because she's so much like me, man. She on her thing, man. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's giving, man. She's wise. She's very, very intuitive. She's emotional. She gives love good, man. I tell you what, man. I ain't going to want to pull out in this. <laughs> I'm telling you because she pregnant. With the Ace of Wands and the Lover's Card, y'all don't come for me. See, somebody dealing with a Gemini here. Oh, Scorpio. I knew that that's what it was. Why I kept pulling them cards? Because I knew it was some sexual energy in here. Strong, uh, strong, strong, uh, strong, strong um, sexual energy between this person and you. And you may, you may have met this person, Scorpio, and you may not have met this person. I hope this ain't no better from your past, but look, I ain't got no control over this. So let's see. But it's what I just said it is. Now, when I clarify these cards, it's going to be something, sometimes it's a little bit different and sometimes it's like what I say it is. But it's like I just told you it is. This is what it is. I feel like this emperor is going to come to you on this level. Now, for some of you Scorpios with this lover's card, you may have a choice between a younger water sign and a boss fire sign here. An older, mature, a little, or they ain't even got to be older, but they're mature for their age. They're on your level of mature wise. But this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups come quick too, Scorpio. <laughs> if they get you, because you got a lot of, you attracting a lot of people in this Empress energy. It's not the same as the Empress, so I know it's you because you got the belly. You the one got the belly, Scorpio. That means that you got a lot of uh, growth in your life, but you are fertile. 
You are furthering the deals with your feminine energy. So that feminine energy is skeeting all over the universe, Scorpio. And they coming all around like a bunch of hound dogs, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, clarify this. Uh, who, who we need? Clarify this strength card for Scorpio. Why is the strength card here for Scorpio, Spirit? Should have got the slippy cards. Slippy cards here. The hermit card. See, I feel like this like I said, I feel like somebody's low-key watching you. They're trying to hold themselves off of you. And they could be trying to hold themselves back from you, Scorpio. But I feel like this person low-key watches you, Scorpio. They're trying to get to you. And I feel like they are. This person could very well uh look, you got the three of cups and the three of pentacles. I don't feel like this person, look, you also have, is that the six of cups? The six of cups. This, like I said, it's a past life person, Scorpio. It don't mean a, 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 it's a this past life person. It could just be a person from other lifetimes ago here, Scorpio. But it's a strong spiritual connection with this person. But I feel like this person going to want to try to take you out, Scorpio. I feel like this person going to get to you. I feel like you're going to fall for this person. Y'all going to fall for each other. Some of y'all did, excuse me, some of y'all dealing with the Leo. Some of y'all dealing with the Virgo. As well as this Gemini, Libra, Aries. You got Aries in here. You got Pisces. You got a lot in here. Knight of Pentacles here. See? It's like this person. Now, please believe this person got other people that want them. But it's almost like, see, they want to come in and do things for you. They're trying to figure out what is the best approach. It's like, like I always say, when you got the emperor and the empress here with this person studying you, it's they looking at you like, damn, man, I don't know what to get her, man. She look like she got it all together. She always keep herself groomed. She take care of herself. Because the empress is a pampered chick. She takes care of herself now. She ain't got to ask you for shit. You going to want to do it. Because that empress high maintenance kitty going to get to your ass. Or that peanut, what, however. You, you, you know what I'm saying. So this empress here, they already, they trying to figure out what's the best approach to come to you because they want to come in and give you some offer. And I feel like what the offer is, they want you to be their baby. They want you to be their chick or they do. That's what they want, Scorpio. Because they're coming in with pinnacle. They're going to page of swords again here. See, they can't keep their eye off of you, Scorpio, because they say you, you remind them of them. <laughs> they say they know you got to be the one for them and they willing to do whatever they got to do to get you. But they want to come to you right because they respect they respect this empress energy, and they ain't going to play no games, Scorpio. And you by being an emperor, too? So what is this? Is this a death card? I don't think this death card is supposed to be. Some of y'all are some Scorpio. Now, this could be a major transformation that's about to take place between the two of you, Scorpio. But I don't feel like that either. Let me keep going, but that don't make sense. Page of Pentacles here. Now, for some of y'all, maybe you ended it with a Virgo or a Leo or a Scorpio here, and they're coming back in with some good news about how y'all can get this money together, Scorpio. They feel like y'all can make this bread together, Scorpio, because they say you doing your shit, they doing their shit. They need somebody that's on their level, Scorpio. Somebody who look good, somebody who they attracted to. Ooh, somebody who they... It's like, ooh, Scorpio. I feel like this person, eight of wands here. You got the eight of wands here. Ooh, so something is going to move fast or some type of communication. I feel like this person could, and for some of y'all, this person could be looking up, trying to find your number. <laughs> Especially if this is someone who you don't know, Scorpio. They trying to figure out who you are and how do they come to you, Scorpio. And I feel like they think they're going to come with pinnacles. I feel like whoever this person is, they got money. Damn, Scorpio. Wait, what am I clarifying? Let me, let me stop talking. All right, Spirit, clarify this emperor. What's up with this emperor for Scorpio? Yeah, let me, there it is. All right, Ace of Pentacles, see? This emperor coming in to put it down now. This emperor's coming, emperor coming to put it down. I feel like this is what they're doing here. They're trying to figure out how to get to you, how to communicate with you, and how to address an empress here because they know how they would want someone to do them because they say you must thank you them or something. So they're going to come to you like they would want someone to come to them, and they're going to come to you with an opportunity you cannot resist with this Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. Because I feel like this person going to take care of you, spoil you, even though it looks like you're doing good on your own. But, and they're going to be a hell of a lover too, Scorpio. And they go to food card again, Scorpio. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries. Got Aries strong in here. Like I said, Scorpio, this is a type of person who has a lot of people who wanted them. Especially with this lover's card. They're the emperor and they got money. 
someone really wanted this person because they they known everybody know that know that they uh but they got eyes on you they go that page of swords again see they got eyes for you you stand out above anybody that they've ever been with because everybody else was trying to impress this person but when they look at you they say god damn and they know it's natural that's who you really are you're in a boss energy and you're attracting a boss and this is a good lover, too. I, I just keep seeing good lover energy. Okay, this is good lover energy, Scorpio. Ooh. All right, so some of y'all better be careful <laughs> with the lover's card here and the ace of wands here. You better be careful along with this empress and the emperor. Because that's a mama and a daddy, okay? Clarify this empress for Scorpio spirit. What's going on with this empress? Ooh. Look. Ah. Empress again. Ooh, see, you're empress for two different people. I feel like... I feel like when these empty these cards start showing double up, Scorpio, it's because you may have multiple people coming in to you that want this with you. Because like I said, it could be this Knight of Cups coming to you with, with, with a message in this page of rods. They're trying to hold themselves back to it or they're trying to tame the lust that they have for you. It's a lot of people lusting out to you, Scorpio. Especially by you being in this Empress in that Emperor energy. Because people love it when you take charge. They love that, they love that energy. But you're so humble and so loving. Everybody can't be in this Empress energy, Scorpio. You got to leave. You got the strength card again, Scorpio. See, Six of Pentacles. See, some folks want to come do for you to pay the page of rods here. There is a message here. And I don't feel like they go to strength card again. Someone, if you got the strength card twice, a lot of people are trying to resist you or they're trying to curb the Six of Pentacles. See? Somebody wants to come in and be generous. They want to, it's like people want to just give you gifts and shit, Scorpio. And I feel like it could be multiple people that want to come in and, and make it rain on the Empress here. Ooh, because you got the Nine of Cups. Now, what's up with this Nine of Cups for Scorpio spirit? Why is this Nine of Cups here? Show me. Nine of Cups is clarified by, see, your ass going to be happy, the Queen of Cups. The universe say it's time for you to be happy, my love. Somebody finna fall in love with you, Scorpio. See, somebody see a loving side of you, Scorpio. And they see everything. They see the passionate side of you, Scorpio. They see the business side of you. They see the um the loving side of you. They see the freaky side of you. They see everything in you in this Empress energy, Scorpio. I'm telling this person could live in a, in a different city, state, or country with this world card here. But something is coming to make Scorpio happy. And this could be the energy that you're in now. The Queen of Cups with the Nine of Cups. This is why your Empress game is on fleek here. You got the, what's the Seven of Swords in reverse. So, take it in the upright. I'm not taking reverse. And what's up with the Seven of Swords? <laughs> Four Cups in reverse. So, someone is upset with you that you don't want their offer and it could very well be this night of cups. i feel like someone is going to be hating on your happiness scorpio someone's going to be hating on your happiness because you did not want they ass a scorpio because you didn't trust them and see the empress ain't got to settle for that especially you're the queen of cups and the nine of cups you're not going to settle for anybody that's going to jeopardize your growth and your happiness scorpio they go to lover's card again. It could be someone who is trying to come in and suave you with the, why they got another lover here too, Scorpio. I don't feel like it's the same energy. Or it could be, or it could be, it could very well be that this person, what, what you don't see in the seven of swords is four cups is that, is that they rejecting all they other lovers. Like I say, they picking you because you got the lover's card twice. Like I say, the emperor has a lot of people after them, but then again, the empress does too. But somebody has turned down everybody else who's been chasing them because they want you, Scorpio. And I feel like they did it in a slick way to them too, Scorpio. I feel like they didn't give a damn. <laughs> they didn't give a damn once they laid eyes on you, Scorpio, because you was more of their match here, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, I'm telling you. All right, Spirit, who's this Knight of Cups for Scorpio? Knight of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Cups. See? Oh, you got folks coming in. So there go another baby. See, some of y'all better be careful about that little young water sign now. He got plenty of liquids to give, okay? Might put a baby in. You can see somebody want to lay in between your breasts. 
Somebody want to lay on your chest. Someone want to lay between your legs and lay in your arms, Scorpio. You know they do with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. Come on now. If that ain't baby making energy, Scorpio, that's baby making energy. Because the Queen of Cups is already loving and nurturing. And the Empress has got that Venus energy about her. Come on, y'all. I'm just saying. Let's keep it real. You got folks wanting to put, put, put a baby up in you, Scorpio. And you know it's some strong love. But I feel like this is... I feel like this is and somebody trying to get the queen of pentacles. So they said somebody see you as somebody with some money. Now this could be this one because I saw the queen of pentacles. I don't trust this knight of cups here, but let me see. Clarify this knight of cups for Scorpio. Who is this about spirit? What, is this, what do we got to offer Scorpio? Is this the same energy as someone else? Spirit, show me. See, that queen of pentacles came out again, but it came out in reverse. So I feel like this lovers is for, like I said earlier, this lovers is for this knight of cups. They're going to try to come in here to you. They ain't got no business coming into you, but they're going to be hiding something. Now, this other lovers card with this emperor, they left all the others because they can't touch you. But this knight of cups here still got an attachment with, this, with the karmic, but they're going to try to come to you. Because they see you happy. They see you loving and nurturing. They want to come in there and, and raw sex you and probably leave you with a baby, Scorpio. Because they're getting away with, they're not happy with their other lover, Scorpio. they still with them, but they're not happy with them. And the reason why they're not happy with them because they money them fell off, Scorpio. Or they're needy, very clingy, and very irresponsible. Now, all the burden falling on them. So they see you over here happy in abundance, so they trying to come in you to you and run game. I feel like a little younger, a little younger playboy could be a water sign is gonna also try to come in to you too, Scorpio. Clarify this night of us got the eight of wands. See, they gonna come in here try to sweet talk you, Scorpio. Oof, but just know that they are distant from their emotions here. They don't mean you no good. They just trying to get away with something here. Give me one more card for this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is clarified by, and this was in reverse too. It's a, what's that? Ten of Pentacles. See, that came up in reverse, see? Because whoever they were with, like I just said, is Queen of Pentacles. They money them fell off. Now all the load is on they asses. Whoever this Knight of Cups is, Scorpio, they're going to try to come in here and act like they want to start all over. Let's pick up where we left all the spirits. Say, don't you have unprotected sex with this one? Because they still involved with someone. They just mad because the money, ain't, it ain't like it used to be with them. So they finna try to come over here and hustle you, Scorpio. See, like I say, you're going to attract a lot of people. So th this is why Spirit's telling you it's time to take action. Expect powerful change. You you, you are, you and your loved ones are protected. Um, time, to, to, time to breathe out. I feel like get rid of this negative energy. Uh, prosperity lies ahead and your dream needs a practical plan. I feel like most of your most of your dreams, Scorpio Spirit's telling you, you can't take no leeching ass ex with you. Anybody who coming in to take from you instead of add to you, you can't take them with you because you got prosperity ahead of you. You got abundant energy. So expect powerful change. So whoever this little young suave is person who gonna come in and try to hustle you, Scorpio, play on your emotions with your nine of cups and queen of cups. Just know that they're still attached. They're not happy, but they're still hooked on to the other lover that they chose. But they were with them for money. They first started off as screwing, but then they thought that they, whoever this person is, this Knight of Cups started screwing somebody. Could have started screwing a Libra. or Could have started screwing a, uh, excuse me, Gemini here. They started screwing her, and then they, they started screwing her, first of all, because when they met her, she was the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, or at least she appeared to be. But I feel like karma has gotten a hold to them because especially if this person left you because they thought the grass was greener somewhere else, they went somewhere else and they did build something. They did with this queen of pentacles and this ten of pentacles. This is what they did. But because their cycle is ended, your person's still in shady ass energy. Now they're on the, on the other side of karma. This is probably why you got the wheel, of fort, the wheel here. See, so whoever they were with, they trying to come start over with you because they don't like where they at no, now because... They, they feel like you're abundant now because you remember everybody looking at you as this empress here. You're abundant. But they're trying to appeal to the queen of cups and the nine of cups. And they're trying to appeal to your emotions. They're trying to um, be deceitful and play on your emotions, Scorpio, because it ain't so pretty where they thought it was going to be it. 
whatever they thought was green and, and more more greener and more plush it's dried up shit getting repoed now she mad and she got this person getting two and three jobs so now they're trying to come hustle you scorpio and that's what it is shame on you ex that's, that's why i don't nobody want y'all that's why nobody want you i see this queen look king of rods king of wands that's in reverse but the high priest is in the upright see you already know though scorpio you already know and see for some of you scorpios this disseminating moon time take time to breathe out has really had you reflecting and evaluating the people around you, what you need to resist and let go of. You got a karmic ass king of wands that's steady trying to come in your energy. And it could very well be this king of wands trying to come in this knight of cups energy here. But you already know, you already hit to the game, Scorpio, and this high priestess energy. You're no longer confused by them. See, they had you confused, but you ain't confused about they asses no more. That's why you ain't even talking to them, Scorpio. And it could very well be the same person, Scorpio. See, Scorpio, your dreams need a practical plan, and it does not include anybody who's trying to come back and take from you. It's not for them. Now, what's up with this Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the world. So some of you guys may be about to get some type of job that's going to cause you to have to travel here. And for some of you guys, you may be traveling on work, at work, and you may meet someone. You may meet this emperor here. I feel like you're going to meet an emperor here, Scorpio. Give me another card for this Eight of Pentacles. Or maybe someone is trying to fly in to be with you. What is this? Oh, that was in reverse. See? So this could be someone else. Let me see. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords in reverse. See, someone tried to work on you, Scorpio. See, they go the Moon card in reverse. And they go them Five of Pentacles in reverse. See, I mean, the Moon card is in the upright, but the Five of Pentacles in reverse. See, so this is someone, This I feel like this is the same person that's hooked up with that karmic, Scorpio. They looking at how you work in Scorpio. Now, I feel like they're overworking too, Scorpio. But I feel like they're watching you because after all, you got the six of wands with the page of swords. You got a lot of people watching you. You're in this empress energy. But I feel like this person from the past is a little knight of cups who trying to come in and play on your emotional side. Try to act like they wanted this brand new beginning. And for some of y'all, this person going to try to have sex with you and get you pregnant so that they'll always be in your life so that they can reap your harvests or whatever you got coming in, especially if they see you on your grind and focused on your money. You're the empress. You're full of abundance and you're happy. You know you've got to be happy because shit going good. So everything must be good. But this Eight of Pentacles is the world card. It could be someone that's, that's from a distance here or someone who you completed a cycle with is watching your money here. They could be uh, feeling defeated here in this Five of Swords or, or whatever they, they thought that they were going to do. It's not going to work here because their secrets have already been exposed. This is why you get hit, saw the, the high priestess here. They're ex they, don't, they can't have no, have no secrets from you because the, the high priestess already hit to it. Especially if y'all had to take some time to y'all self and connect with the source in order to get success and grow. Y'all on y'all shit. You got spiritual power. I feel like you already saw this person's bullshit away, away before they came. You saw that their money ain't right, and they're not going to recover from this. See, this, this is five of pentacles in reverse. You see, it's part of their judgment. This, this is who they chose to be with, and they thought the grass was green on the other side. Now they got to pay for them bills now, Scorpio. But then now they trying to look at Scorpio, because Scorpio on her game. But it's not going to work because you're already protected. You remember that card, Scorpio? It says you and your loved ones are safe. So not only are you physically safe, but you are spiritually safe as well. You got your ancestors in the spiritual realm blocking all this unnecessary uh, use, use and energy, uh, uh, deceitful, thievery energy. Someone wants to come in and after you done worked hard for it in the Eight of Pentacles, they watching it. So now they want to come in here and, and, and ask for a handout here, Scorpio. But they're not doing anything to change it themselves. Instead, they're trying to go get you somebody. Uh-huh. All right, Spirit, what's this will about, Spirit? Clarify the will. 
The wheel is clarified by the Ace of Rods. Now, I feel like this is, you got the Ace of Wands over here too. So see, I feel like things are going good for you. This is the energy that's coming towards you, a new beginning. You got the Ace of Wands here twice, as well as the Fool card here. It's like it's destiny. So this Emperor Empress energy is destiny. It's like it's, it's like your energy of, of, of destiny must be in the air because it's attracting people to you. People who, it's like by you leveling up, if anybody try to do anything negative to you, if it's your time to shine, Scorpio, it's their time to be in darkness is what I see. That's what I see. And they can't keep their eyes off of you. So what they say, if you can't beat them, join them, they can't beat you because you protect it. So they're going to try to sneak their way or, or deceitfully try to join you uh, by using you, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, clarify this wheel for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles here. So you got a partnership, a, a collaboration coming up. See, I feel like this is the collaboration you got coming up with the emperor and the empress. The emperor already coming in here to in, uh, in, in invest in you, Scorpio. They coming, honey. They coming. See, cause they, they like it. You'll turn on to them. They say you think you them or something. And it turns them on. They ain't never met nobody like you. That's why all the other lovers can kick rocks. See, your person ain't playing. You got the seven of ones right here and the seven of ones right here too, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it's with it's Big Daddy with this King of Pentacles. Somebody got some money, Scorpio, or at least they're 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 financially stable here. All right, Spirit, give me another card for this wheel for Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles again. See, somebody was gonna come in and build work as a partnership with you, Scorpio, because you guys are gonna grow something abundant here. I feel like this is what it's about. See, but see, both see both of y'all on y'all manifestors and manifest. You got the magician next to the emperor. See, somebody's coming in here to help you, Scorpio. And I feel like you own your game, but whoever this emperor is got a little bit more, a little bit more knowledge here. And all they need is somebody who can ride with them just like them, Scorpio. They need somebody who think they them or something. Okay, they need you, okay? They already see a future. They trying to manifest you, baby. Who trying to manifest you, Scorpio? The emperor. That's who trying to manifest you, Scorpio. And I don't feel like it's any manipulation. I feel like they're going to be real... Ooh, see that? Oh, I didn't see that card. The chariot card. See, somebody is coming in to you, Scorpio. You got the magician, the emperor, and the chariot. So some of y'all, this emperor is coming in. They coming full speed ahead to you. And look, there go that king of rods in reverse again. Somebody's trying to get to you, Scorpio. I see a lot of energies trying to come to you. Some of it is good, and some of it is is just pitiful. But like I say, your emperor is the only one on your level, Scorpio. Because they're coming in. They're coming in to do some things. And they didn't turn down everybody else. All right, Spirit. What's up with this page of, uh, page of swords and the six of wands for Scorpio? Clarify this, please. King of Cups. Now, for some of you, Scorpio, someone is in love with you or someone is trying to win your heart or this person is going to fall in love with you, Scorpio. For you female Scorpios, you got a masculine that's coming in here to work on building a partnership with you because they look at you and they feel like you must think you them or something. But they're going to fall in love with you, Scorpio, because you're so much like them. It is a turn on. I'm telling you. This per Look, see, I'm telling you, see, the Ten of Cups, see? This what they coming in to give with this what they did. See, ooh, see. They're watching you. This is this, this is how they, they spot you now. They can see you on your job. They can see you getting in your car. They can see you dropping your. I mean, however they see you, but you got a lot of attention on you with the six of ones as well as the page of swords. And when they see you, they gonna fall in love with you and they're gonna instantly know that they need you in their life with this ten of cups, Scorpio. Ooh. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right, Spirit. What else about this page of swords and this six of wands energy that Scorpio needs to know? There it is right there. See? This is a union, Scorpio. This person is going to love you. I feel like this person will build your house for you, especially if this the empress. This the emperor and the empress is coming in with all this good energy, Scorpio. 
For some of y'all, it is fate, it is destiny that you guys be together. And they're en route to you energetically. See, this is the type of person that takes charge. They're the ones that can make it happen. I'm talking about it ain't nothing this person can't get done, especially with this magician card, and they know it. This is why it ain't gonna take it ain't gonna take long for this person to come after you. They already looking at I'm telling they coming. This person goes after what they want, and they're used to getting their way, Scorpio, because they know some shit, Scorpio. And you can't be the emperor being dumb. So this one knows exactly how to get what they want. And who they want is that high-maintenance-ass uh, empress kitty or, or peony, okay? That's what they said. Now, what's up with this hangman here, Spirit? Why is this hangman here for Scorpio? Clarify the hangman. The hangman is clarified by the four of swords. Someone probably is, can't, can't get over you, Scorpio. Look like someone is just can't get over you. They can't move past you. That's all they're doing is thinking about you, Scorpio. Oof. I feel like it's somebody else, though. See? Somebody's full of confusion. But they must have had other options anyway. Like I say, this person got other lovers here. They're going to come in to you. Now, see, I feel like this is the same person. They can't make no move. They feel stagnation in their life. They feel like their happiness is on hold because who they thought was going to help take care of their ass them fell off. And this is the energy they come, this Knight of Cups is coming in. And I know it's the same energy they coming in to be deceitful and try to play on the Queen of Cups' this energy because she's happy. But all actuality, this person's not happy with this other lover that they have, Scorpio. And the reason why they ain't happy with her is because the money ain't there no more. So now they're trying to come in here and, and, and suave you. Some of y'all, they're going to try to get you pregnant because they want to get you stuck because they sorry and they see you winning, Scorpio. They see you winning, Scorpio. But in this hangman, this four sword, this person, is they, they on their ass. Ain't nothing happening in their life, Scorpio. They're not even putting forth any effort to, to change their ways. They're just sitting around this thing just confused about how to get you back. They ain't trying to change their life. They just confused because they dealing with too many toxic people here. Ooh, Scorpio. And I feel like you're not going to talk to them. You've already set boundaries with this person. Look, the Hierophant, it was in reverse. See, this person ain't got no type of spiritual... This person is not spiritual at all. They don't think about spiritual things. They're thinking about the earthly things to their delusional it's like this person their only focus is on obtaining material wealth but they're spiritually dead i feel like because they always stay in confusion here this is why there's no growth in their life they're in this hangman's energy they need to make some changes but that's on them scorpio got divine mask on up in this thing see they trying to reach out to you in this eight of wands See, you got this person from your past trying to come back in too, Scorpio, but they ain't got nothing to offer. It's just that whoever they chose in the past, when they met them, they was on they, they was riding high. They was on cloud nine, but like the wheel always turns, Scorpio, it's judgment time and everything that they built on a raggedy ass foundation, which was not real. It was out of spite in an unhealed, toxic place. All that shit coming down. And so who are they going to look at now? Because Scorpio's so good See, Scorpio's re re receiving abundance. This is why you're in the Empress and the Queen of Cups energy, might I add. Because they did not break you. Only thing they did was push you on further. And now you got Big Dad. Now you got your Divine Master or a person who is more on your level. This is the same energy. Because they, they, they look at you and they say, you must think you them or some Scorpio. They already going to. They already know what y'all going to do. Y'all finna settle down. Because like I said, this person, either they going to fall in love with you at first time they see you because it's the king of cups. It could be a love at first sight thing. Because when I, this, you got the uh, not, the king of cups, the ten of cups, and the four of wands. Clarify the page. What I clarified was the page of swords and the six of wands. They're watching you. So when they watch you, I guess for some of y'all, it's going to be love at first sight with this king of cups. Because when they see it, it's like, damn, she must think she me or something. Man, I think I done fell in love. I'm telling you, and they going to come with it. That emperor ain't going to play no games like this ex going to try to come back and, and, and try to hustle you. Now this emperor is going to take control over the situation, and they come and tell you, this person ready to start a family, Scorpio. For some of y'all who are past childbirth and age, this person, y'all could have some type of extended family. But it's going to be some type of family setting between y'all, Scorpio. And spirits say that's the truth. You're going to get it, Scorpio. 
Meanwhile, Spirit said you already have the truth and clarity about this past person. They're, they're karmic. They're toxic. This is why you cut their asses out, Scorpio, and stop talking to them in the high priestess energy, Scorpio. Now their ass is full of regret because the bed that they made up, they don't like it. But if they chose the mattress size, they chose the colors, they chose who was going to get in that bed with them. And it certainly wasn't Scorpio. They thought they was going to stay in the bed with money forever. But Spirit said, no, you little vain child. Let me hear you. I'm going to have to take all your shit away, though. But it is what it is. So they're regretting a lot of things. They're regretting that they ain't the shit no more. And they're also regretting that they can't pull the wool over Scorpio eyes because you've been enlightened. You know the truth. You're not studying them. You got too much abundance in your energy. Why settle for less when you can have the best is what Spirit said. And so far, you have not been getting the best until now. All the rest of this shit just been practiced, Scorpio. Remember, you also have this fool card and this ace of wands, which I'm not going to clarify because it speaks for itself. You got to pass a new beginning because this person finds you beautiful and attractive. And for some of y'all, you're going to get pregnant by this person, Scorpio. And I don't know when this is going to happen, but I'm telling you, this is going to happen for somebody. It could be with a Gemini, a Aries, a Cancer, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a, 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 a Capricorn here. It could be from anyone, uh, uh, Aries, Libra, everybody is here. But like I say, you're going to be happy because you're already happy. See, when this when everybody comes to you, they're going to find you in this Queen of Cups and this Nine. When they look at you, they see this loving Queen of Cups and Nine of Cups energy. But who you really are is the Empress. But this is some of your characteristics. They're going to see this very loving, uh, very full of energy. And look, look at all this cup. You got nine... You can look at all these cups you got of emotions here. Shit. So you're, you're self-happy. So you, you can't help but to spread the love, Scorpio. And that's exactly what the Empress does. You are bringing in people to you, Scorpio. People who know they shouldn't even be coming your way, but they can't help it. Everybody wants to be a part of a winner. And this is what I see happening. You got a boss. You got to someone who is way much more on your level that ain't playing, Scorpio. They, the Emperor takes charge. Now, they may be a little bossy, but... They're going to be over-possessive over you, Scorpio. Like I say, for some of y'all, this person going to be gonna fall in love with you quick. And they ain't going to want to use no protection, honey. Because they ain't with the other lovers. I'm telling you, they don't want them other lovers. See, they don't walk away from everybody else, Scorpio. They don't want them. They do not want them. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Hit your notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.